And up next, a super special event that's bringing together all seven Milwaukee area Irish dance schools. That's right, one of them is this group. It's the Glen Castle Irish Dancers. When we come back, you'll see more. March is certainly a time when we all feel a little Irish. That's true. And this Friday, days before St. Patty's Day, you can discover your Irish at a special event for a good cause. Joining us now are Colleen McGuire Schmitz right next to Molly. We got Lucy Siepler and Maura Trichel on the end. And they're here with the Ulster Project, which is an effort to promote trust, respect, tolerance, and understanding among future leaders. Welcome to the Morning Blend, all of you. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Well, I think we'll get to that, um, the Ulster Project and things like that in just a minute. But what is discovery? your Irish because that's really what's what's happening here it's our main fundraiser and it, it occurs tomorrow evening at Mount Mary at Berkstrom Hall from 5 to 10 it's one of the rare opportunities when you can see all seven dance schools in the city of Milwaukee perform do they all get along absolutely <laughs> it's, it's a big village yeah. um, and we have music by Leahy's luck and the Irish um, some Irish cultural groups are represented Irish fest the Irish cultural heritage center the Shamrock Club it's really a gathering of the broader Irish community and it's our main fundraiser and we have raffles and silent auction and there'll be food and desserts and beverages and it's five dollar admission which includes an entry into the grand raffle which is a round tri two round trip tickets to Ireland. Wow. That is so cool. I love that. Let's talk a little bit about the Ulster Project mm -hmm. of Greater Milwaukee and, and what you do as part of it. Um, in the Ulster Project, there's four main things we do. The first thing is discovery, which are the focus of the Ulster Project, and we meet with all 24 of us and break down all the barriers within the group. The second thing we do is different service projects. So we built benches for homeless shelters. We serve food at a shelter. And then we do ecumenical services where we travel around to different churches in Milwaukee and just get an understanding of the different faiths. And then we do a lot of things for fun, like we went sailing, we went to Six Flags throughout the month. There's just a lot of good things we do. That's great. That's neat. What do you like about being a part of it, Maura? Um, I liked the service projects that we did. We fed people at a homeless shelter and we... Um, well, and you worked, didn't you, as I said, build the benches? Mm -hmm. And for many of these teens, it gets them into it's different neat. areas in the city. I think that's yeah. fantastic. Just to see the community in yeah. which we live and to be able to be a part of it at such a young age, I think, is, is huge. Absolutely, because they went to the Urban Ecology Center down the new one in the Menominee Valley and in, in the Silver City area, mm -hmm. which many of those teens had never been to. So it was a great opportunity to expose them to those other opportunities in the city. Yeah. yeah. How many teens are a part of your group? Is it a big group of you? Yeah, there is 12 Northern Irish teens that come over, and then there's 12 Milwaukee teens. And this is all around the country. We're not just the only city that does mm -hmm. it. 
So That's it's sort of like a local chapter of mm-hmm. a national yeah. group? Yeah. Right. Okay. There okay. are a total of 14 cities in the U.S. that do this. So if people are, uh, attend Discover Your Irish, are they able to find out how they might participate in the Ulster Project? Absolutely. Any one of us will help them. And um, we have our website that they can go to and learn more about it. And I, we're all so excited about it that we're all willing to talk to them about the experience. And you, a lot of alumni are there to talk to them about what they've seen as their teens have grown as adults and the benefits of this long term for them. Mm-hmm. And when the Northern Irish, uh, when they come over, the, the guests that you have, how long do they stay? Is it a month? It's a month. They come in late June and they leave in late July. And part of that is scheduled around the marching day, okay. which is July 12th, which is a very turbulent time in the North. Um, it celebrates William of Orange's victory in Northern Ireland. So there's lots of what they call parades, which are not our parades. They're a time that's very divisive because okay. the Protestant will march in the Catholic neighborhoods and Catholic will march in the Protestant neighborhoods. So it's very tense. Gotcha. And they have a lot of what they call bonfires, which are not what we think of. They're like stories high. Okay. You know, they're, they're, so it's a very tense time in the North. And that's why we bring the teens here during that month so they can be away from that and yeah. kind of learn a different perspective. That's, That's great. wonderful. Yeah, I think it's great. And I think it's a, a, a neat opportunity for people to maybe find mm-hmm. out about in an organization like these ladies are part of to see how they might be able to help their community and find out more, too, because everybody's Irish when you discover <laughs> your Irish. Yeah, at least this month for sure. It's featuring Leahy's Luck and all seven, as we mentioned, Irish dance schools. It is happening tomorrow, Friday, March 6th from 5 until 10 p.m. at Mount Mary University. You can find out more about the Ulster Project by vid- visiting this website. It is is ulsterprojectmilwaukee.org. And now we're gonna see another performance we're super excited to see, so take it away, ladies. Thank you. 